This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Monday morning. This morning we have new details about the man arrested in connection with the home invasion and murder in Rochester Hills on Friday. Two people pretended to be DTE employees to get inside the home. Oakland County investigators say 37-year-old Carlos Hernandez of Dearborn is one of the two people involved. He was arrested Saturday in Louisiana. Hernandez faces felony murder and unlawful imprisonment charges in Oakland County. As of this morning, police are still looking for the second person. The Arab American Civil Rights League is holding a news conference this morning demanding hate crime charges for the man accused of stabbing a seven-year-old girl in Detroit last week. Seven-year-old Seda Mashra was at Ryan Park in Detroit on Tuesday when the suspect, 73-year-old Gary Lansky, allegedly walked up to her with a knife and stabbed her in the throat. Seda was able to run away but needed 20 stitches. Lansky has since been released from jail on a $2 million bond. The Wayne County prosecutor says at this time they have no evidence of a hate crime in the case. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden will be in Metro Detroit today. She's making an appearance at Clawson's Three Cats restaurant this afternoon. CBS News Detroit will be there. Join us this afternoon to hear what she has to say. Michigan medicine workers could go on strike this week. The union representing some 2,700 Michigan medicine workers announced the strike plan earlier this month. Workers are asking for better pay and a restoration of benefits taken away during the pandemic. Michigan Medicine says there is a contingency plan in place if there is a strike. And we're expecting an update today about injured Detroit Lions star Aiden Hutchinson. He reportedly broke his tibia during Sunday's game in Dallas. Hutchinson stayed in Dallas overnight to undergo surgery. The tibia is the shin bone in the lower leg. It's expected he'll be out the remainder of the season, but again, we'll know more later today. Right now, let's check in with next weather meteorologist Troy Bridges for a check of that Monday morning forecast. Good morning, Troy. Good morning, Chris. What a difference over what we had last week. We're going almost 10 degrees below our average with high temperatures today only in the 50s, warming to 54. After starting off with rain, rain chances eventually taper off. We'll only see a slight chance for a couple of showers later in the afternoon today, but we will have a northerly wind flow. That's going to lead to an unsettled weather pattern for the next couple of days. You'll see chances, minimal chances, after this morning's rain for a few showers into the next couple of days, but most of us will be dry into the middle of the week. The big story will be the cooler temperatures as we head into the middle of the week and even into the end of the week. Not a big change over the next few days. A high today of 52 in Lapeer, 50 in Pontiac, warming to 51 in Ann Arbor, 50 in Howell, 54 today in Detroit, 52 in Mount Clemens, and 53 in Adrian with mostly cloudy skies, but at times we'll see a few of those clouds breaking up. Early morning temperatures tomorrow once again starting off cold will be in the 30s close to 40 in most areas because we will clear a little bit not seeing as much cloud cover as we're seeing this morning and certainly not as much rain 38 degrees will be the temperature in Pontiac 34 in Ann Arbor 39 in Lapeer 40 in Mount Clemens 37 in Detroit and early morning temperatures in Monroe near 36 degrees the next seven days will show a good bit of cloud cover today and tomorrow then a high of only 50 tomorrow. We'll go back to 53 on Wednesday, gradually warming closer to our average heading into the end of the week. And it will be the weekend before those temperatures warm close to 70 degrees for Saturday and for Sunday. Chris, back to you. Thanks, Troy. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.